big thicket protects about 108,000 acres, a little bit more than that. And one of the best remnant stands of longleaf pine in the preserve is in the big sandy unit where we are now. But we want even more longleaf. A mature longleaf forest is attractive to game species like deer, quail, and turkey. And it's also really attractive to us as visitors. It's the kind of park that we want to spend time in. It creates a beautiful, expansive, open environment. And it also has a lot of flowers that attract songbirds and butterflies and all the things that we really want out of our national parks. Uh, this is our Dibble Bar and uh, many of you, you know the drill. Yes, we do. <laughs> As you're moving around, there is some pretty dense vegetation out here. This site has been masticated or we've come through and we've churned the underbrush to try and create more open soil for you to have places to plant. We wanted to get a fire through here with a lot of rain this last year, that wasn't going to happen, but it's projected in the future we'll be able to. However, as you're walking around, not in rows, we call it maybe a, you know, tipsy diddling, if you will. Uh, you want to find a nice clear spot if there are some pine needles or some other down vegetation. Clear it away with your foot, stomp your dibble, and this soil is really compacted, so I would probably move on somewhere else. Find a nice spot, tamp oh, it in, it goes in nice and smooth, yeah. You pull it up. There you go. And about five, six feet apart and you're just planting all the clear area. Don't plant in their shrub, don't plant in the middle of a rotten log or that because we're going to burn this next year. You don't want to torch all that you do. So every clear area, if they're three feet apart, Nothing five feet apart, yeah, it, it really won't yeah. matter because we, we want it to look like a mosaic of sure. little trees. As you insert your pine seedling into the hole you dibble, you'd like to press it all the way down so that you can feel it make contact with the soil underneath. Uh, the greatest thing that we can do to ensure success is to make sure that there's not a gap of air between the soil and the top of the seedling. It'll look pretty for a few days and then it will die. We don't want that. We want a big, beautiful forest in 80 years. So, as Ken said, weave around, find the open spots, dibble. It goes a lot faster when you're working in pairs, and you'll really fall into a flow. Tripping hazards out here. Be very careful. Also, when you're bending down and trying to plant, there are other plants that can stick yourself in the eye. So those are the two injuries we're trying not to have at all today. So the big thing is we want you to have a good time. So today we're coming together to try and make a lasting legacy of Longleaf so the next generation can come and experience this forest the way that it might have been before our time.